whenever I try and start anything now, is I try and start it as if I was broke. And the reason is this. I tried lots of businesses when I had no money. And when they failed, because most of them did, I only lost time. Mm -hmm. And time's important, but you lost a bit of time. But what happens is when you start to make money, then you start launching things and you start losing money. You can't lose money if you don't have money. Mm -hmm. You know? So mm -hmm. when I was successful with my first business, I started with no money. Now if someone comes to me and goes, I want to start a business, I say, okay, how can we do it for zero euros? Zero. Oh, but we can't. There must be a way. Find a way. Or as little as possible. Mm -hmm. And 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 the way I do and I do that because I believe many good ideas will find a way to float themselves. If I start a coffee shop and it's going to be a successful coffee shop and I start it on bare minimum money, after a month I should have made enough money to pay for the thing to pay for the rent. Sure. If I start a coffee shop but I need to put in 100,000 to keep it open, then then what then what am I doing? So my view of business now is very much like I get a lot of people who come to me and they say, oh, Tate, we need this much money for this, this much money for this. I'm like, look, if it's a good idea, we don't need any money. If it's really a good idea. Or fair enough, you might have to rent a premises or something. But you know where I'm coming from. I think sure. a lot of people, especially, I think business is not dangerous when you're broke because you have nothing to lose. Business is dangerous when you're in the middle and you can lose all the progress you've made. Yeah. And this is where the mistakes come in. So, I mean, I'm not super wealthy or anything but now i'm at a point where i try and say yeah i'll start anything but i'm super reluctant to put my money into something i'll try hard you know or i'll do just enough of what it takes i've done crazy things bro i've started new limited companies to get leases knowing that if i don't make money in the first month i'm just going to skank on the lease and let the whole company go under and i think like that i think you know what i'll get this premise as a three-year lease i'll pay one month and if it doesn't work out they can go sue this company, which I'm just going to close. Sure. And I, I think that way because, you know, what's the alternative? Oh, we didn't make money this month. I'll put more money in. Maybe next month, more money in. I'm very logical. I'm very I, – I, I played chess for a long time. My dad was a chess grandmaster. I played chess as a kid. So I like to look at the world with a very logical point of view. What's the best move to make? Yeah. If after a month we have not made a penny, then you know what? Maybe I should try somewhere else. So that's I think that's the biggest thing people need to do. You need to dedicate your time and stuff, but – a lot of people seem to think you need all this money to start a business. And especially on the internet, you need very little on the internet. Yeah. If you're going to do an online business, you really don't need much. You know, you need, you may have to learn some things yourself, you know, or you might have to find a student who hasn't got much money who will do it cheap. But there's always a way. So I get hit up every day. Oh, Tate, I want to do this. And if I had 50 grand, I could do this. I'm like, bro, if you had 50 grand, you wouldn't need to do that. It's just it's chill. For those who listen to us, this was excellent advice. Thank you.